Grabbing a screenshot from your iPhone or iPad can be really helpful in a variety of circumstances. On devices with a home button, press the sleep, wake, or power button and the home button at the same time to take a screenshot. On devices without a home button, press the side button and the volume up button at the same time to take a screenshot. Once taken, the screenshot will appear in the lower left corner of the display for about five seconds. This provides an opportunity to interact with it rather than needing to locate it in the Photos app and work with it from there later on. So on the iPhone, let's take a screenshot from within the Files app. As I take it, the screenshot shrinks into the lower left corner of the display. Swipe left on the screenshot to remove it from view. It will be automatically saved in the Photos app. Notice here in Photos we have a Screenshots Media Type album. So every screenshot that I take on this device can be saved in here. Tap and hold on a screenshot while it's in the corner, and we are able to quickly share it in all the usual ways, print it, or save it into the Files app. I'm going to save this one into my Documents folder here in Files. Then single tap on it again in the corner and tap the trash icon to delete the screenshot. This prevents the screenshot from being saved in the Documents folder and again into the Photos app. Let's take another screenshot and single tap while it's in the corner. In here we can use Markup to edit it. Drag the nodes on the corners and sides to crop the image. Use the sketch tools below to draw on it. Tap on the plus button here to add text, a signature, a magnification bubble, or a shape. Across the top, we have undo and redo buttons, the trash button, and a share button. Tap done and we can save the marked up screenshot to either photos or into the files app. If you take multiple screenshots back to back, those can be edited all at the same time. Just tap while they're displayed here in the corner. To move between the multiple screenshots, swipe on the gray area of the display. Swiping on the screenshots often will just start a sketch. If you accidentally take a screenshot, or just didn't grab the screen you wanted, it can be quickly deleted by tapping on it while in the corner, and then tapping Done and Delete. We can also record our screen, which will then be saved as a video. To start a screen recording, head into Control Center and tap on the Screen Recording button here. I can't do this while I'm screen mirroring, so I'll record a direct video of this the rest of the way. Tap and hold, and we can choose to record with the device's microphone during the screen recording. This can be good for narration. Notice that while a screen recording is occurring, a red icon appears in the upper right of the iPad, and the time in the upper left of the iPhone gets a similar red background. We can stop the recording by tapping on these icons, or going back into Control Center. Screen recording videos are automatically saved into the Photos app.